Welcome to our annual service report for 2022-23. Last year, we set out to strengthen community safety in respect of emerging risks in Lancashire, from climate change emergencies to fire safety changes affecting businesses. We focused on building a highly skilled, resilient and agile fire and rescue service that can adapt and respond flexibly to the needs of our communities. Continuous improvement and innovation are at the core of our work and everything we do aims to make Lancashire safer. During the year, we were proud to offer critical support to people outside of Lancashire as we responded to international emergency events. After earthquakes hit Turkey and Syria, six firefighters from Lancashire joined an international team that was deployed to Turkey to help search and rescue efforts. A member of this team also went to Malawi to support the search for survivors following a cyclone that caused landslides and flooding. Lancashire firefighters drove two fire engines to Poland as part of a national convoy to support firefighters in the Ukraine and we were able to donate vital firefighting equipment. Here we reflect on some of our achievements that have improved the services we provide to you. A programme of staff events has been delivered in relation to the National Core Code of Ethics, which guides the professional behaviours expected of all fire and rescue services. To support staff in achieving their full potential, we've focused on development leaders through talent management, promotion pathways and continuous improvement. We signed the Armed Forces Covenant and were accredited with the Defence Employer Recognition Scheme's Bronze Award to support the employment of veterans through our recruitment processes. Investment in new accommodation at Hindburn Fire Station was completed and design work began at Blackpool Fire Station to ensure it meets the needs of a more diverse workforce. At the end of 2022, Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service won Partnership of the Year Award at the Asian Fire Service Association, recognising the partnership's work to deliver the COVID-19 vaccination programme in communities. We also won Brigade of the Year at the GG2 Leadership and Diversity Awards in March 2023 for outstanding work in championing diversity and creating an inclusive working environment. Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service and the Prince's Trust celebrated 22 years of delivering the team programme across Lancashire and improving the lives of young people. The service has been trialling non-operational staff volunteering as community first responders, supporting the ambulance service. Volunteers respond to life-threatening emergencies in their communities from the workplace and administer first aid in the initial vital minutes before paramedics arrive. Our first workplace community first responder helped to save the life of a woman who suffered a cardiac arrest. Andy Dow, a community fire safety officer based at Leyland Fire Station, was the first to arrive on scene after Diane Fenton went into cardiac arrest at her home in Leyland in January 2023. Diane's husband dialed 999 and began chest compressions before Andy, along with paramedics, gave advanced life support using a defibrillator to restart her heart. It's all thanks to Andy, thanks to the ambulance crew that I am where I am.
Five new business safety advisors were recruited to the fire protection team and are training to national standards. The scope of training and support given to firefighters has been broadened through work with Skills for Justice, the National Fire Chiefs Council and regional partners. Following a successful pilot, business fire safety checks are now delivered by whole-time firefighters to low-risk premises that would not normally be audited by fire safety inspectors. Following public consultation and incidents found to be false alarms, we have changed how we respond to automatic fire alarms in non-sleeping risk premises, initially during daytime hours. We respond when there is a confirmed fire or if the building provides sleeping accommodation, enabling us to use our resources more efficiently. We undertook an emergency cover review to ensure that emergency response remains effective and efficient and that we are well equipped to respond to future emergencies. These changes reflect the use of resources for Lancashire and maintain all 39 fire stations, 58 fire appliances and our outstanding response standards and create an increase of eight firefighter job roles. In June 2023, the service acquired new wildfire personal protective equipment for all of our firefighters, plus additional equipment for specialist wildfire units. Two new Hagland vehicles were introduced to strengthen our response to wildfires and flooding. The all-terrain vehicles are rubber-tracked off-road appliances and enhance our existing wildfire and flood rescue responses capability in remote areas of the county. We have introduced dynamic cover software that enables us to deploy resources more effectively and efficiently across Lancashire. It provides visual data on community risk and emergency cover in real time, so we can position firefighters and appliances with much greater precision to improve emergency cover and response times during periods of high demand. A new mobile data terminal was successfully tested and 80 have been ordered for our fire engines and other service vehicles. This will replace all existing terminals in our fleet. Five fire engines are piloting a second mobile terminal installed to the rear of vehicles. These devices are demountable and will provide firefighters with more efficient and data rich information when on the incident ground. New drill towers were installed at Blackpool, Boltonley Sands and Tarleton Fire Station and others have been repaired as part of a service-wide replacement programme. CCTV was installed on 12 fire engines and all officer cars resulting in a decrease in vehicle accidents and reduction in associated costs. Three aerial ladder platforms were fitted with six-way CCTV and plans are in place to extend the installation programme into 2023-24. to The aim is to increase firefighter safety while they protect communities. Behind all these achievements are dedicated people with the highest levels of skills and expertise. They have the essential qualities to respond positively to challenges, support others and make a difference in their communities. Last year, we celebrated the achievements of over 50 of our most talented and dedicated people in a special event. Long Service Good Conduct Awards were presented to both operational and non-operational staff for 20 and 30 years of service and meritorious conduct. And I was honoured to award 10 personal commendations for acts of courage and exceptional bravery. We also recognised members of staff nominated by their peers for exemplifying service values in our STAR Awards, which highlight people making a difference to their colleagues and local communities. From saving lives on the front line to supporting behind the scenes. We are united in our determination to make Lancashire safer.